All right, let's talk about Microsoft Teams. If you're like me, you practically live in it. It's supposed to make everything seamless, but when it comes to scheduling, it can feel like a real headache. So today, we're going to dive in and show you how to finally master your team's schedule, all without ever leaving Teams. You know the drill, right? That endless back and forth, the constant checking and double checking calendars, just trying to find that one little sliver of time where everyone's actually free. It's honestly, it's exhausting and it can bring productivity to a grinding halt. But here's the good news. It really doesn't have to be that hard. Teams has a few quirks when it comes to seeing other people's calendars, for sure. But there are ways to create a much, much simpler workflow. We're going to walk through all of it, from the built-in basics to something, well, something brilliant. Okay, so first things first, let's look at what Microsoft Teams gives you right out of the box. There are two main tools designed to help you with scheduling, and you've really got to understand them before you can master your calendar game. The first one is the scheduling assistant. So when you're setting up a new meeting, you'll see this tab. You click on it, and boom, you get this timeline view that shows you when your colleagues are free or busy. It's a pretty solid tool for just quickly spotting an open slot. But, and this is a big but, there's a catch. The scheduling assistant only shows you a free or busy block. You can't see what the meetings are, how important they might be, or any other context. You're basically scheduling blind, which you know, can lead to booking over something really important. The second option you have built in is the channel calendar. If you go into any channel and hit that little plus icon, you can add a calendar app that's shared with everybody in that channel. This is awesome for things like project-specific meetings or team events, because it keeps everything tidy and relevant. But again, its view is limited just to that one channel. So to get more detail, what do most of us do? We have to leave Teams entirely. And that brings us to the famous Outlook workaround. It's powerful, yeah, but it's also disruptive because it pulls you out of your flow to get the full picture. Now, inside Outlook, the process isn't too complicated. You go to add a calendar from your company directory, search for your colleague, and then add their calendar to your view. This is where you can finally see all the juicy details, assuming they've shared them with you, of course. And this is where we hit the big problem, right? And Teams, you get these basic integrated views. But Outlook has the real power. You know, the side-by-side -side views and all the advanced permission settings. The issue? Every single time you jump over to Outlook, you're breaking your concentration. You're stepping out of your main hub for collaboration. I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? What if you didn't have to make that choice between having an integrated app and having a functional one? What if you could get that rich, detailed calendar view you get in Outlook, but without ever leaving Teams? Well, guess what? You can. This is where some amazing third-party solutions come into play, and they're designed to solve this exact problem. Today, we're going to look at one of the best, the Virto Calendar app. It's built specifically to bridge that gap between what Teams gives you and what busy teams like yours actually need. This quote right here, it just nails it. This isn't just about viewing one extra calendar. We're talking about overlaying and managing unlimited calendars from all over the place and doing it all from the comfort of your team's window. So let's get into the nitty gritty of why an integrated solution like Virto is such a total game changer, not just for scheduling, but for your team's overall productivity. And you can see it right here when we put them head to head. The advantage is just crystal clear. Native teams, yeah, it keeps you in the app but you can't overlay calendars. Outlook, it lets you overlay, but it yanks you out of Teams. Virto is the only one that checks all the boxes. It gives you that Outlook power with overlays and custom views right inside your main workspace. At the end of the day, it all comes down to this one simple, beautiful thing. The ability to get a complete bird's eye view of your entire team's schedule in one single screen. No more switching tabs, no more guessing games, just clarity. So how does it pull this off? Well, by letting you pull everything into one place. And I don't just mean Outlook calendars. We're talking Google calendars and others too. You can color code everything to see project timelines with just a glance and easily switch between day, week, or month views. And super important, it's all built with top-notch enterprise security so your data stays safe inside the Microsoft ecosystem. But you know, having a great tool is only half the story, right? To truly master your team's schedule, you also need to build the right habits. So let's wrap this up with a few pro tips for using shared calendars that can make any team way more efficient. Look, these might sound like common sense, but they make a huge difference. It all starts with respect. Set clear permissions on your calendar and please be mindful of your colleagues' working hours. Then it's about clarity. 
Use a team-wide color coding system for different projects and always, always add some context to your meeting invites. And if things change, let people know right away. It's all about creating a culture that respects everyone's time. So I'll leave you with this one final thought. Take a hard look at how you schedule things and the tools you use every day. Are they actually helping you collaborate and focus on what's important? Or are they just another source of friction and frustration? Because with the right approach, your calendar can go from being a simple schedule to being your team's most powerful productivity tool.